What is up, foolish mortals? It's your boy, Bones, and I'm back with a Friday the 13th mega figure. Now, I had told all of you before that I was checking Target for the NECA figures and I finally picked up Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason Lives. Now of course here is my Friday the 13th shelf. I have some new additions there but I've been looking for this. Let's take a look at it. That's the inside. The back. Now, as rem always, as remember, this is not really a review. It's more of an addition to my collection. But I will tell you all the accessories you get with it. We'll take a closer look and we'll have a little bit of fun. Let's do this. There's your Jason. I like this picture. <clears throat> the back. It's pretty nice. I love this cover. Uh, here's some figures that I picked up recently. I picked up this uh, old school uh, part two, loose. But this is the old one. This isn't the, the new uh, Ultimate. This is the old school one. Because it doesn't have that much uh, um, articulation. And it's heavy as hell. And I also picked up this uh, remake. Psychhead Jason. He came with an extra axe. And I just like put it in his, in his holster. But uh, eh, these were cool pickups. But let's get back to the part six figure all right guys now let's get into the accessories first off you get a Jason Voorhees tombstone Here is Jason's uh, loose hockey mask. Now, let's get this out of the way. I really don't like the way this figure is displayed. I mean, I really prefer him with the mask on. And then if you want to, you could take it off, you know. This is his face at the beginning when Tommy resurrects Jason from his grave. Also receive a fence post. Darren, get back in here right now, he'll kill you. How if I get him first?
Don't leave home without it. Also included a machete. Also comes with an awesome Rambo style knife. This is a personal favorite of mine, but it is not necessarily a uh, accessory. It is his utility belt where he has his throwing darts. You also receive an extra gloved hand. Now, how do you kill somebody with gloved hands? Oh, oh yeah, squish. Now, the last point I have with this is the only thing is that I know that the old Mesco figure came with a uh, uh, that black girl's head sissy with her decapitated head and I just really prefer them with the mask on and there's a big enough hole here where they could have like put that decapitated head but I guess you know times have changed and they didn't want no decapitated head in there so if I ever find one, like loose somewhere, I'm gonna get that the girl's decapitated head and put it in here, and then I'm gonna put Jason's mask on. I just, I prefer it like this. But besides that, I mean, it's nice, you know, it's an addition to the collection. I think they're coming out with a part five. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. Um, the only other one I think is the, uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors one I think I'm not sure I have to make sure but uh, I'll keep collecting them but anyways guys that's it for this uh, see you guys next time yo it's your baby and your pop to the I remember seeing this movie and really like enjoying the fact that Tommy understands that to finally be rid of Jason, he has to, be, has to kill his soul, his spirit. He can't just kill his physical body. And this leads him into looking into the dark arts and the occult for a way to finally destroy Jason. I remember watching this movie with my cousin. And when this part came out, my cousins laughed. But I was like, man, Jason's strong as hell. Oh, I hope that was a stunt bug. Dick.
Damn. Doctor said I need a Becky out of me. Dig him up. Does he think I'm a fart head?